I'm Charlie and today we're going to learn all about how to collect freshwater invertebrates by kick sampling. Now this is a standard technique used in flowing water. It's done by pretty much anyone interested in sampling rivers and streams, including statutory agencies like the Environment Agency and also the Citizen Science Initiative Riverfly Monitoring. Now done properly, it will collect invertebrates not only from the substrate of the riverbed, but also from marginal vegetation alongside the river and also any in-channel plants growing in the riverbed itself. So let's um, have a look at the equipment which you'll need to do your kick sampling. Now this is the most important piece of equipment, it's the kick net. Um, they come with different length net bags and different mesh sizes. This one has a 1mm mesh size and a 50cm net bag. Now there's various different designs and they cost different amounts of money. This one cost me about £50 and I got it from a supplier called EFE and GB Nets. Um, the net mouth is a standard 25cm wide. Now the most important feature of this net for kick sampling is this flat bottom. Um, when you're doing your kick sampling, this goes flush against the riverbed and um, the flat bottom means that there's no gaps underneath so any invertebrates that you disturb aren't going to get lost underneath the net. The other equipment you'll need varies depending on your purpose but for my sampling I tend to also use a bucket and a tray. For having a closer look at the invertebrates I find the best thing to use is a plastic spoon. If you're going to separate out the different types of invertebrate you might also want to think about getting a divided tray like this one. You'll also need an ID guide, or probably several different ones as you get more confident and progress a bit further. There are huge numbers of different ones, but a good starter is this one. So, to carry out your kick sampling, Place the flat bottom of the net flush against the riverbed. The net mouth should face upstream so that the current keeps the mouth of the bag open. Then kick around in the substrate upstream of your net and the current should carry any invertebrates you disturb into the net. Don't be afraid to kick quite vigorously. Another technique which is often combined with kick sampling in rivers is a hand search. Many invertebrates are adapted to cling on to rocks and pebbles and won't always be dislodged by kick sampling. Instead, lightly brush a stone in the mouth of the net using your fingers or a soft toothbrush. If the stretch of river you're sampling has in-channel or marginal vegetation, you'll want to sample that too as it might be home to different types of invertebrate. Gently move the net through and under the vegetation. Once you've completed your sampling, pop your catch into a bucket. Make sure you check the net for any invertebrates that are clinging on or that have become trapped in the mesh. Now is your chance to remove any large stones or pieces of vegetation before transferring the cleaned sample to a tray for closer examination. Kick sampling should only ever be done on a safe section of river. Make sure that you have an easy entrance and exit point, avoid steep or slippery banks. Also ensure that you can see the bottom of the river so you know what you're stepping into. Avoid sampling when the water is cloudy. Sampling should only be done when the water level is safe. 
That basically means when it's below knee depth. Any deeper and the sampling becomes really difficult as well as dangerous. And also you should never sample freshwater habitats alone. Always sample when there's at least some flow. This will wash the invertebrates into your net and keep the bag net open. If you have a muddy section of river, you can end up with some silt in your net. Leave the net in the current for a while to wash some of the silt through. You can also gently agitate the bag to encourage this. If the sample is very stony, you can swirl the water in your bucket around before sieving it back through the net. The lighter invertebrates are carried into the net whilst the heavier stones will sink back into the bucket and can be discarded. That was our beginner's guide to kick sampling. I hope you've enjoyed it and that you feel ready to visit your local river and stream and have a go. Please check out the Tomorrow's Biodiversity Project on Facebook, our website tombio.uk and follow us on Twitter at FSC Tombio.